In the heart of a desolate town, shrouded in mist and dread, stood an abandoned house. Its presence sent shivers down the spines of anyone who dared approach it. The house was a decaying relic of a dark past, with a single feature that captured everyone's attention. The blood-red door. One stormy night, a man named Daniel, driven by morbid curiosity, approached the house. Rain pounded against the windows, and lightning illuminated the sinister silhouette of the red door. With trembling hands, Daniel reached out and touched the cold, peeling paint. The door creaked open, beckoning him inside. As Daniel entered, the door slammed shut behind him, sealing him within the dark abyss of the house. Shadows danced on the walls, and strange whispers filled the air. Every step he took echoed through the empty halls, and the floors seemed to shift beneath his feet. In the dim light, Daniel saw glimpses of spectral figures moving in the corners of his vision. Ghostly children playing with long-forgotten toys, a woman in a blood-soaked dress, and a man with hollow eyes. Their whispers grew louder, urging him to leave before it was too late. Deep within the house, Daniel discovered a locked room with an even larger, more ominous blood-red door. With a rusty key he had found earlier, he opened it, revealing a chamber filled with ancient, macabre artifacts, human bones, arcane symbols, and a diary filled with the chilling confessions of the house's previous owners. As Daniel read the diary, he learned of the dark rituals performed in the house and the malevolent entity that had taken residence. The entity craved souls and would do anything to keep its secrets hidden. Daniel realized he was not alone. The house was alive with a sinister presence. Panicked and filled with terror, Daniel tried to leave, but the house seemed determined to keep him captive. Doors led to endless hallways, windows were bricked shut, and the walls seemed to close in around him. The ghostly apparitions appeared before him, blocking his path. In his desperation, Daniel made a desperate bargain with the malevolent entity. He offered it the diary, promising to keep its secrets safe in exchange for his freedom. The entity accepted, and the house released its grip on him. With the diary in hand, Daniel rushed out of the house, leaving the sinister red door behind. As he stepped into the rain-soaked night, he felt the weight of the entity's secrets and the darkness that still clung to him. Though he had escaped the house, Daniel could never escape the horror that lurked within him. The secrets he held and the malevolent entity's presence haunted his every waking moment. He knew that the blood-red door would forever be etched into his nightmares, a chilling reminder of the terror he had experienced. The abandoned house with the blood-red door stood as a sinister sentinel in the town, waiting for the next unsuspecting soul to cross its threshold. The malevolent entity within continued to hunger for souls and guard its dark secrets, ensuring that the horror would live on for generations to come.